Hey, this is Terry with Cole Informatics. I want to show you a quick thing that may be helpful to you. You can see on screen here a uh, screen called Microsoft Teams. It's right here. If you haven't seen this, you probably don't have Microsoft Office 365, uh, a subscription for that. But if you do, you'll find that Microsoft has done us all a big favor and shoved this onto our machines without our permission or any warning. Uh, it's not bad software. Matter of fact, it's very helpful in a lot of cases, but it may be popping up in front of you. And I was preparing a document to send to our clients to help them prevent this pop-up when I thought, well, let's just do it for the world and see what we get. Uh, maybe this will be helpful to you. So, I'm going to show you Windows 7 and Windows 10 because how you stop this depends entirely on which version of Windows you're running. So I'm going to show you those, both of those real quick. What we're looking at here is a Windows 10 computer and you can see that this is popping up. It happens because Microsoft Teams was installed. So I'm going to close that out just to get it out of the way. The way you do this on Windows 7 is click the start button, type M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G and press enter. It's short for Microsoft configuration. Click on the startup tab, find Microsoft Teams. You may have to make this column wider. I clicked on that little divider there. Uncheck this and click apply. Hit OK. You'll get a box that says you may need to restart your computer. <clears throat> you don't have to. Put don't show this message again and click exit without restart. And that's all there is to it on Windows seven on windows 10 it's a little bit different so go to your start button type task manager task space manager click ok or click it at the top rather go to startup and find microsoft teams in the menu and choose disable i'd already done mine so yours is going to say enabled choose disable close out that's it so the quick over quick Overview, you have to know whether you're using Windows 7 or Windows 10. On Windows 7, you'll type msconfig, M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G. Go to the Startup tab, find Microsoft Teams and uncheck it, and click the OK button. You'll get this message that says you might need to restart. You do not have to restart. Just put a check in this box here so it doesn't show you again every time you restart your computer. You'll be swapping one pop out for another pop up rather and click exit without restart. If you're on Windows 10, type in task manager like this, find the startup tab, find Microsoft Teams and choose disable and then click the X and you're done. So that's everything you have to do to get rid of the annoying Microsoft Teams pop up. Let me say this, if you have a need to communicate with your team, Microsoft Teams is a great tool. It replaces some screen sharing software like Zoom, um, Loom, which is the tool I'm using here, and it might replace Slack and any other instant messaging thing that you're using in your system. A great benefit of Microsoft Teams is it's built into the Microsoft Office ecosystem. So sharing a document or sharing a spreadsheet uh, that you're working on in real time with somebody else in your company, it might be very advantageous for you to consider using Teams. We're not experts on it. I'm just getting learnt to learn it a little bit, but the pop-up thing is quite annoying and we need to all just give a big fat thank you to Microsoft for making our lives better with this pop-up. This is how you get rid of it if you don't want it to be there. Um, and I hope this is helpful. Y'all have a good day.